Oh, actual fish, actual fish. Hey, thought I was stuck on oyster for a second, dude. It's gotta be a catfish, right? Oh no, a red. I'm getting too good at catching these dinks, man. Finally on to a little something though. Let's get a look at them. Nice little dink right here. Off those oysters and geez Louise. Finally on a fish. Let's see what time is it? 118. 118 in the afternoon. We have been out fishing since. I don't know. We left the house at like six o'clock this morning. Probably got on the water around 7:30. So yeah, we've been fishing for a little bit. And that's legit our first fish. Well, y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is looking like today is shaping up to be another super grindy day. What is that? That's five hours. Five hours on the water and we've got one fish. Technically five hours if you don't count the time in between spots, but you get the idea. Another super slow day. Back at it again. We got some live shrimp out in the kayak. And I've actually got a retie right now. While I was sitting here, I had my jig head hanging and it got caught up in the trolling motor. So we're getting ready to retie. Hopefully we can get on some more fish before this day ends. This is definitely gonna be one of those, it's gonna be one of those weeks, I can already tell you. It's gonna be one of those weeks where these videos are gonna be multiple days stringed together. It's just something, some, something in the water, something in the air. It's got these fish not wanting to bite. I don't wanna drag this intro out too long. Let's get this junk retied, get another shrimp on, and try and get some fish. As you can see here, very simple loop knot, just retied our jig head, and all we're doing is live shrimp, take the jig head, put it through that horn right behind it. Oh, and look at him, he's ready to go. Rambunctious little guy. This has been the main method for me the past couple of days now. I just, I don't think there's any substitute for live shrimp. It's like pretty much the best bait you're gonna be throwing out here. Um, and you get the ultimate feel for it while working it on your rod like so. Just kind of jigging it. I think I'm stuck on some oyster down. Let's hope our shrimp is still on there. Sure is, all right. There we go. Speckle trout? Oh, oh. all right. It's crazy what a little bit of structure will do for you. All day long fishing, you know. I don't I wouldn't really consider it structure. Come here, buddy. Freezing cold speckled trout right there. Beautiful little fish. Easy. Easy hook set. So right here, you can see these two PVC pipes. That's oyster. One thing I've noticed from personal experience is that if there's oyster around, your chance of catching fish is up by like 90 freaking percent dude all day long just kind of fishing you know choke choke points where water is rushing through but there's nothing really there fishing the structure of these docks sometimes docks are real hit or miss though but the oysters turn things alive for me let's see can we get a flounder real quick we'll just call it a slam There we go. It's gotta be a little redfish. Oh no, a trout. They're right over here on the, they're barely hitting it, but they're right over here on this oyster. This is, that's the only spot where I've been able to get like repeat bites that aren't just like, you kind of got lucky on a passerby. There we go. This is a solid fish. This has either gotta be a really small red or a decent speck. Oh, it looks like it actually might be a decent. No, never mind. Freaking fooled me. Y'all don't know how catfish these little tiny redfish are. As you look at this guy, if this wasn't a redfish, he's low key got the length to be a 15 inch speckled trout. So these reds are always the ones that trick you into thinking, like, just for a brief moment before you get them to the surface of that water you might get your keeper spec. You fooled me again, buddy. There we go. Another dink. There we 
we go. Feels like he's another little red. I like, part of me thinks like with the head shakes it could be a trout. Nah, I saw his blue tail from down deep. These guys are spawn camping shrimp over here just trying to get big for next year. He's definitely got the bluest tail so far. They are all just legit the exact same size though. Could be twins. Well, I did want to stick around here at this little bit of oyster and see if I could maybe uh, bring in a keeper. Like I said, it's been super slow and this is the only spot that showed any signs of life. So very thankful for at least catching those couple of dings, but I do believe it is time to part ways. Great sign that this stuff is alive though, because if we make our way out here to our right a little bit over yonder, we got a little bit similar situation where you got some PVC marking a little oyster reef if that was holding then the chances that that out there might be holding are high they're, they're decent it's the best lead i've gotten all day long so we're gonna take it we're gonna make our way out there and try and snag us a keeper one keeper for the day mm. Let it be known, there are fish out here at this structure. Can't tell you what kind of fish. This is like the third or fourth shrimp we've lost over here. There's definitely something. Definitely something. What? Oh, there we go, that's a bite. <sighs> Nice, another fish out here. That, I swear, bro, every time I see one of these guys... Oh, that is a speck. Oh, boys. Boys, boys, boys. I think we may have just done it. He looks close. Oh, he looks so close to being a keeper, y'all. Oh, this could be the one. I hope I'm recording. I hope, I hope. All right, y'all, I was definitely recording, and look at this. This could be the one to do it right there. That looks like 15 fishing all day long finally here at the last this is the last little bit of structure that we have to fish I come oh shoot guy take it easy I skipped over the middle one out there because there was just nothing nothing to show for finally here at the last spot dude never give up y'all don't know how bad I just sometimes want to go home and say screw going to the next launch never give up you can maybe <laughs> you can maybe get yourself one keeper to go home and eat lunch oh my gosh he's energetic let's go ahead and get that measure board are you freaking kidding me boys i missed the release no you know what honestly that that's not even gonna stop me i'm so happy right now just know just know we did just catch our keeper trout our number our only keeper for the day i'm freaking stoked dude i'm freaking stoked just let me explain i know we didn't have a killing today it's not like we got a ton of fish but to come out and produce even just one keeper when the bite is like this when it's dead slow i've fished every single spot this is the last spot i went to everything i knew i tried everything i possibly could and we got it done boys we got ourselves a keeper i'm proud of that and and look at this with room to spare there's a couple of shrimps left in here so those are that's just funny money right there i'll just continue fishing anything else is just icing on top of the cake thumbs up for that keeper we got it freaking done against all the odds oh there we go y'all oh this is the nicest fish we've had this has got to be a just under slot red or a decent trout oh that looks like it's going to be a decent trout y'all no you freaking fool oh it's a oh it's a redfish i love how i said it's just under slot boy this guy fooled me dang he came and struck that thing bro smoked it oh my gosh he's the same exact size i just want y'all to know from looks this redfish is the exact same size as all those other guys we've caught today back at the other spot but 
I'm telling y'all what this guy's got inside of him. He's got double the heart as all those other fish. Jeez the wheeze. I hope you grow up to be a big one, bro, because you'll put up one freaking fight. Oh, oh, right when it hit the water, y'all. You're not going to believe this, but I went and met up with my pops, and he had some bonus shrimp. He had a bunch of shrimp left, so I went over and met up with him, grabbed some more, and just started fishing again. This is a nice fish. It's got to be a big red. Yeah, it is, dude. I think we got ourselves a keeper red. If this was a trout, I was going to freak out. It looks like he's just there to be slot red. Come here, buddy. Awesome. Dude, you can't even make this up. A couple hours of sunlight left. Bonus shrimp. And we're getting it done, dude. Just pulled up to another one of these little markers here. And all these are basically marking like a depth change or uh, a bit of structure. And look at that. Let's go ahead and get them on the grips and get a better look at old buddy. Taking a second look at him here. Uh, I don't know. He might not be a keeper. I could measure him. I don't really feel like grabbing out the board right now. He's definitely big enough to, to make me think he was a keeper. Put up a solid fight. By far the best fight we've had all day. Go on now, buddy. Woo. Took off. Awesome, dude. Oh, y'all should see the smile on my face. <laughs> all right, y'all. That is going to do it for today's video. I really can't believe it. The only thing, all I got to say about today is just never, never give up on yourself. Never give up on your dreams. This morning started off in Texas City. I don't, I doubt y'all will see any clips from that portion of the, of the day. Just because there was no fish. There was not a single bite. My confidence was shot. Uh, we were loading up the kayaks and my pops was like, you know, maybe we go try off that's by you. And that, that was the last place I wanted to be. I, every time I come out here, I have a bad day, but you got to keep trying. You got to keep trying to get on them. And who would have thunk it the last place i wanted to be on earth the last spot i would have chose to come fish we get out here throw some shrimp and we got on them and we got on them in multiple spots like you know we launched here and you usually have a couple of spots at the location that you launched at most of the little reefs the little drop-offs that i went to go fish today those little spots that i'm talking about we got on them we were able to find dinks we were able to find keepers and i don't know it was just it was a good day but anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video, man. If you did, you already know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button for me and hit the subscribe button if you like saltwater fishing content like this. I upload new videos every week, multiple videos a week if I can get on them. It's been slow, but I try to do multiple videos a week. So if you like it, make sure to hit that sub button. And I hope you guys have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.